Season 5, Episode 46, Rattle Balls. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, cool, he still has that uh, grass blade on his wrist. Why is he sitting in the... That, that is scary. Why are you just... You are acting pretty bananas over this, and you are in, in freaking sane. At, at least, okay, after the whole FP thing with his, which, by the way, completely deserved that she left him, by the way. After the whole uh, Flame Princess thing, and then, remember, like, right after that happened, the next episode, he was trying to, I think, it, what was it, Fire and Ice? Or was it the, yeah, it was Fire and Ice. And then after that, there was a whole episode of him trying to get back with Bubblegum. Which was super weird, and I heavily disapproved. And now, like, he doesn't seem to be doing that, like, romantically anyways. But now he's just going back to being her her guard, her, you know, right-hand man. Because, I mean, that's kind of what he was back in Season 1, when you really think about it. You know, he was her right-hand man, and he still helps her out a lot. But, like, it's definitely died down quite a bit. But this is obsessive. 5.30 in the morning? I mean, come on, dog. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no. Well, that'll keep him... <laughs> what? Wait, you're telling me Finn went and got the milk and he actually came back? That's crazy. It did take three weeks, so I proved it. Finn is really going through it right now. He is crazy. I I've talked about this in a lot of episodes past. I'll talk about it again now, though. Because probably, let's be honest, those episodes are probably blocked when I talked about it. Most of its freaking channels blocked at this point. But, um, <laughs> like, when, um, Finn has had a huge character digression, in my opinion. He's progressed in some ways, but he's really gone downhill, man. And even, it was even before the whole FP situation... Because it was it was completely Finn's fault why FP left him because of the whole Cosmic Owl in the stream, the whole premonition thing or whatever. And then that Cosmic Owl being like, you blew it or whatever. And, and then even after the FP thing, it's gone worse and worse and worse. Finn is crazy. He's crazy, dude. I actually genuinely believe he's nuts. Like, sure, he's going through a hard time, but like he's kind of off the, the bonkers, man. I don't know, man. Where did you get that? It's Ming's milk. I milked a Ming. 100% dedication. It took you three weeks to, to what I do, for you. do that? I took Butler off this balcony if you asked. Go somewhere where you can relax. Yes, princess. And where would that be exactly? Oh, okay. Dude, that I love that grass sword. It's so cool. Like, the design is whatever, but I love how it wraps up around his arm and just, like, forms into his hand. Like, that is so freaking cool, man. Who's that? Well, PP, sure is a nice day to be outside. Hey, what did you say about PP, bro? He's crazy. It does not get any more clear than this, dude. Look at oh my. That sword is so cool, man. I can't, I cannot get over it. It grows back, right? Okay, it does. I was about to say. What is he? Okay, man. Finn, you have lost it. This would actually be cool, a little training arc. You okay? Down for it. When I was a young robot, I went horseback riding. No one taught me how to 
lost. Thor's took a crazy jump, and I came down on the saddle hard. One of my gumballs bounced up inside me. It's been lodged in a weird spot for years. Uh huh. Here. Oh yeah, right. Uh, the left. Getting closer. D closer. This is weird. Oh, you got it. oh frick! Okay. Finn is really doing anything and everything to clear his mind, which I guess I can't blame him fully, but I just don't know how healthy it is with how crazy he is. Oh, jeez. Wait, this is cool. I like this. That's a beautiful shot right there, by the way. Lore? I will tell you now. Oh, okay. Cool. It was a much wilder time in the Candy Kingdom. Oh, we're going back here? I was a member of an elite robot police force created by Princess Bubblegum. Her previous attempts at law enforcement had been a bunch of goofs. Stop him! Go! 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 Answer me this. What? Okay. So, they used to be the old law enforcement back in the day. I'm guessing this is back when, uh, you know, at least maybe a few hundred years ago, maybe. I'm not sure. Like, back when that episode where we had the you know, past incarnation of Finn or something. That's kind of what the town looked like. Are you telling me these guys were in circulation as the bodyguards of the town because the banana guards were very incompetent and couldn't do their job. So ask, t tell me this, why are the banana guards back in employment? Because it's very clear they can't do their job. I mean, just look at the root beer guy episode we just saw a few episodes ago. The banana guards are terrible. I don't know, maybe these robots are too ruthless. Maybe they have a no sort of moral compass because they're robots, so they just kill everything. Maybe that's why, I don't know. Too successful. Unfortunately, we were still programmed for violence. Interesting. Also, they had nothing to do, so they just said like Okay, underground fighting. Go stand on that platform over there. And all the number twos just turn around and face the wall. And no peeking. We were programmed to follow her commands one hundred percent. But through sheer force of will, I was able to She's it. killing them. <laughs> we have been judged too dangerous to stay operational and sentenced to death. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, okay, this is going to be a really out-of-pocket comparison, but is Bubblegum like Hitler, bro? Or like the not- the- uh, oh my gosh. This is so grim. Like, I'm sorry, but like, think think about, think back to, like, a lot of the, um, I can't even process the words. Um, you know, back during, like, World War II and stuff, like, a lot of Nazis would have, uh, the Jews, like, dig their own graves and then they would execute them into the grave which is really dark obviously i'm sorry if that's a really out of pocket comparison but dog what is this man number twos jump, jump. i know they're just robots but dude they have a conscience i i just Oh no. Don't do it, Finn. Rattleballs is still I swear, if Finn tells her about him, I'm gonna be pissed. Because he's apparently rededicated himself to Bubblegum. Maybe this will make him question his decision, I hope. What? He asked me not to tell you, but I cannot break my oath to serve you.
100%. Captain Rootbeer Guy, assemble my guard. No, not Rootbeer Guy. No, come on, I like Rootbeer Guy. Hello, Princess. Sorry, Reepy My oath to the Princess comes first. But once you two talk it out, I know she'll see you. No, she won't! Okay, couple of things. I like the Reaper guy is back. You know, we we just saw him, so I'm glad they're. We're, I'm glad we're not doing a thing where we like revisit him in like four seasons, where like I won't even remember him. I'm glad like they're keeping him consistently around. Uh, number two, this guy is going to kill all these banana guards probably in one freaking stroke, which would be really sick. I hope he does that, because these guys are just really bad also this guy doesn't this he's just wearing a banana uniform doesn't really have a it's like a peeled banana <laughs> i don't know and bubblegum is freaking ruthless man i'm telling you she's evil i or i mean she's not i don't know she's a very complicated character but the more and more episodes like this i see the less and less i respect her <laughs> oh that's so sick Oh man, okay, it's still cool, but it would have been cool if he did just one movement and killed all of them. Is he gonna try and kill her? You killed all my banana guards! You were gonna kill him. Look, they're only bruised. You hit me. I no longer crave mindless violence. I have found peace in meditation, gardening, egg throwing. I hope time has also made you less bloodthirsty, princess. But do with me as I don't know if it has. Also, she came in full freaking warrior art, dude. You will. Okay, good, good. Wait. Hmm. Uh, you want to uh, apologize? I would. I don't know how to feel, man. I thought this was going to be another Finn episode, but it really wasn't. It more focused on Bubblegum, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, especially in the end there. Cause I, I thought the whole thing was Finn was going to meet this dude, hear the tragic backstory, and then go back on his word of serving Bubblegum 100%. That didn't happen. He's still serving her 100%. But she did save him. But, like, she was still willing to go out and kill him just like that. Just for existing. He, you realize he has been gone for years, possibly hundreds of years, and has never once bothered the kingdom. And the moment she heard that he was still alive, she waged war on him. Like, dude. I don't know how I feel about her, man. Sometimes you like her, sometimes she's a lunatic, and sometimes she is literally an oppressor. I, I don't know, man. This was really good, though. It was very entertaining, very dark sometimes. And I like seeing some continuity, like a uh, group here guy being, you know, the police captain and stuff like that. Um, It's funny that she never found a middle guard for the uh, guards, though. Like, there is no middle ground. There, there's the banana guards and then these super lethal robot bubblegum guards, right? Gumball machine guards or whatever. But she never, like, found a middle guard because she just stuck with the banana ones, which clearly the banana ones can't do their job. She also entrusts Cinnamon Bun to do everything who can't do his job most of the time. And she, like, that one Jake episode where she took Jake. I mean, Jake did do his job. He did sacrifice himself, um, which we're still waiting for that to continue, by the way. But she just doesn't really have a very competent... Like, I don't know uh, that many come to people around her. It d doesn't seem that way anyways, but I don't know. Um, But yeah, this was great. Uh, Finn is still crazy, in my opinion. I don't know if that'll ever change. I think that's just part of who he is, but yeah. Anyways, uh, it was great. Uh, yeah, it was, it was great.